Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis for Common Sense. Yay, the new patch is out and obviously I'm going to play it right today. And um, yeah, so who did, who do I want to play as? I want to play as Great Britain and um, why? Well, there's a couple of new things in this patch and if, if you guys do not know about that and, and you kind of want to know about it, uh, I will obviously talk about it, but not in depth. Uh, if you really want to know how all the things work, there is about a one hour Paradox video on their uh, Paradox Extra channel. I put the link to it in the description um, where they explain everything very uh, much in detail. It's it's very nicely done. Um, it's with uh, Wiz and DDR Jake. So if you want to see that, please check it out. Um, I obviously will go over some things over here in my uh, playthrough, um, but I won't, you know, I'm not the developer, so I can't really give you all the insights info. Um, but yeah, I do know some of the things, and uh, I've picked Great Britain because um, there's new things about religion, uh, especially Protestant religion, where you can customize your church. So that's uh, definitely something I want to do. Actually, let me uh, show you uh, right here. So you can, uh, you have church power that develops over time. Um, so definitely want to do that and you give some unique bonuses to your church. So I will do that um, I also like the new parliament system uh, That's obviously in Britain one of the few parliaments that are that there are in in this time So that's definitely something interesting. I will be doing uh, obviously you have this subject interaction um, Where you can you know enable divert trait or whatever this is. Yeah, you can so definitely gonna go over that. We have all sorts of things. We have protectorates, we have colonies, we have a personal union with Han Hanover. We're gonna get a vassal, we're gonna get uh, uh, um, a trade company, all that sorts of stuff. So we're gonna show off that. And um, also the new fort system and uh, how warfare works. I can uh, definitely show off because I started this game in the um, well, in the independence war scenario, because I've started to do the independence thing in the EU4 scenarios series on my channel, uh, playing as the United States, and I thought it would only make sense if I show it from the British side and see if uh, it's it's possible as the British um, to hold on to the 13 colonies um, and if it's worthwhile. Um, so that's definitely the thing I will be doing, and um, yeah, I think we uh, should get started here. So first things first. Uh, there's a lot of things we can do, so um, I think we should start with <sighs> yeah, with an email. Thank you. Uh, no, let's start with uh, missions. All right, so we can achieve religious unity. Um, let's uh, let's actually check that out. What position? Okay, so we are Protestant. We have the Anglican Church that so far has nothing special, um, but we will specialize or customize it. Um, so North Ireland is Protestant, the rest of Ireland is Catholic, uh, of course. Uh, there's a lot of Reformed as well. Um, I want to get rid of that, but there's a center, uh, oh, center of Reformation. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't like that. But maybe our center will do that. Uh, what else have we got? Conquer Pyangsha. Um, no. Manpower recovery. Oh, that would be actually good. Pyangsha. Where's Pyangsha? They still haven't done it that... If you click on the mission, uh, that it shows you where Pyangsha is. All right, let's uh, let's find that Pyangsha. Um, I still can't see it. Oh wait. Well, since oh that's that one. All right, I could conquer that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. No. Uh. We have we're at war with the United States, so we have to focus on that. So I guess prison problems. Well, you kind of noticed how I skipped that because I was looking at it earlier. Anyway, um, so we're gonna do prison problems because uh, look at this. Our jails are overflowing with criminals of all types. To make room, we could release the dangerous individuals back into society if only there was somewhere else to put them. Well, so uh, effect on con completion. Great Britain gets colonial enthusiasm. Um, and what we have to do, at least one province in the Australian coast is owned by Great Britain. So we will do this, um, definitely. And now we're going to send our colonists, just like, uh, 
the British did. We sent our colonists over here uh, to Great, uh, not Great Britain, to Australia, and try to colonize up on this coast. I think that's a great idea. We had three colonists, uh, so they are gone. Okay, now what else have we got? We have too few seats in Parliament. Okay, uh, we have national decisions. Let's do them first. Uh, gain 200 ducats. Now that's a nice start. Um, a merchant and clo a global trade power. That's good. Pass Conventicle Act. Um, what does that do? Um, missionary strength and tolerance. Yes, I hate tolerance. Um, pass pro- no, I'm just kidding. Um, gain missionary strength. Yes, sounds all good. Uh, we can construct uh, canals. We're not going to do that right now. Formalized separation of powers. What do we need for that? Stability, statesmen, and at peace. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon. All right, so that's about that. Um, what else have we got? We have overextension. Really? Hmm. Little Egypt. Oh, okay, I see. So this is all in uh, in uh, North America. Um. Wow, there's so many things going on. Let's uh, let's set up our council here. So obviously our Government, they have now implemented government ranks. Uh, so there is uh, duchies, kingdoms, and empires. And we're currently in empire, uh, kingdom. And we're also, um, government rank is also kingdom rank. And we can upgrade that to an empire, which will give us uh, some more bonuses. I think it just increases the autonomy, uh, change, and, and years of uh, separatism. Separatism? Not nationalism. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's keep going. By the way, uh, we have King George III of Hanover, and he's a military guy, and George Augustus is uh, even better. Okay, he's only 13 though. Right, well, who do you want to have as an advisor? Well, we can have quite a lot of advisors. I think the production guy would be best, simply for the uh, value point, and uh, we're making quite some money, so I think he would be good. Uh, for shits and giggles, I could just you know, fire one of those, uh, but it will cost a lot of money. I want to do that. Trade efficiency? Probably good. How much money are we making off tariffs? We're not making tariffs, so let's take trade efficiency. There you go. And last but not least, uh, Fort Defense Discipline. Yes, baby. Discipline's the best. Alright, um, what else have we got? We got rivals to pick. Uh, we still can't pick rivals while at war. That's dumb. Um, hmm. I would love to pick these three people, but it's not possible. Um, so we're allied to Hess, Deccan, and Baroda. Those are two guys in India, okay. So I guess I can't do anything over here. Um, economy, I think that's good. Trade, where have, um, North Sea, Bengal, and Doab. Uh... Let's send one to um, income. What's the highest income? Uh, yeah, send him over here. Transfer trade power. Alfred Gloucester. Wow, we're making so much money. 58%. That's pretty good. And where was I? Um, trade. Technology, nothing I can do here. Uh, we have 27 on all of them. Nice. Ideas. Uh, okay, what have we got? We got all of our English ideas. Um, yeah. Navy, diplomatic relations, trade, unrest, discipline. Okay. We got administrative exploration, maritime or maritime quality, economic and expansion. We are currently doing trade. And in two more admin tech, we can get one more. I think we're going to go for one of those, but we'll see. Um, alright, missions, I already did that one. Stability, obviously we have overextension, do we want to get rid of them right now? Uh, yes. Yeah, they, they don't really cost much, so let's do that. And I think some of those, South Canada, that might even be in India. Who knows, I'm just gonna core it anyways. Uh, you know. Wow, that costs a lot of admin points. Um, what else have we got? Right, we can't do our church yet. We don't have enough power. And that will rise by 0.18 each month. Okay. Our religious unity is a problem, so we'll have to start by converting Shetlands. Alright. What else have we got? Military. Uh, what's this? Mothball of Faults? No, I won't do that. 
We have James Cook and James Carlton as leaders. We're gonna use them. And subjects, right. So we currently have High Liberty Desire in British West India and Newfoundland. So we're gonna do something about that. Uh, let's hit the interactions tab. Uh, so Hanover is fine. We could do something, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, the protectorates are all doing fine. We could seize territory and not gonna do that. Maybe later. But yeah, we could customize them. Oh, that's nice. So I can uh, rename them. Won't do that. Uh, start colonial war. Hmm. Placate local rulers. Uh, I think that's something I will do. Um, that will make me lose prestige at the cost of liberty desire. Okay. So, let's do that. Oh, but you have to have positive prestige. I see. Okay. Well, let's let's start a colonial war. Um, this is Newfoundland, so let's go over there. You could attack the Iroquois, Abenaki, which are these people, Assiniboine, over here, uh, Ojibwe, Ottawa, uh, Sioux, or Cree. Um, who would be the strongest? I think Ojibwe looks quite powerful. I yeah. Let's 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 see you guys attack them. You will declare war. Yes, baby. So that will um. So now this way, the the what the reason I did this is they did not join my war, uh, against the United States for whatever reason. Um. So what I will do, I will send them to war against Ojibwe. Um. So they have something to do and they will not revolt against me because that will kind of suck. Yeah. Let them power power against uh, some of the natives and uh, that's gonna be awesome all right uh, last but not least the parliament I have to uh, start a debate or oh, actually I could use some more seats so who is in the parliament right now we have Northumberland and Ulster um, okay but we do not have anyone over here I think we should give uh, Northumberland is this Scottish no it's still English Scotland starts over here all right so we're gonna give you a seat. What can we do this? What is this? What's this right here? Oh, okay. I can mothball that. No. Um. What can I give you a seat? Uh, too few seats. Well, how do I do this? Damn. I'll make you a seat. Uh, no. Return province. Hmm. Uh, that sucks. Oh, there you go. London has a seat in Parliament. Okay. Uh, give a seat in Parliament. Yes. So Scotland will ha have a seat. Nice. Um, so what does that do? That will... Uh, give some bonuses, I believe. Okay, anyway. Still too few. Uh... So let's give one to va uh, to uh, yeah Wales. There you go. People in Gwyneth. Hmm. So how we have Northumberland old stuff. Okay. What about hey? What about London? It says they already have a seat. And Kent as well. What? But they, they don't show up. Oh, maybe I have to go. Oh, you know what? I think I did have enough seats. It just didn't show up. All right, never mind. Uh, I think I should get going here. Um, I can build improvements. No, I'm not going to bother with improvements just yet. Let's just uh, go a little bit. But first, I need to uh, get my armies. Where's my armies? Oh my god, there's so much setting up to do. You cannot even believe Alright, so we got, we, we got 2,000 men over here. Um, Army of Ireland. What is the Irish army doing over here? Oh, we can assign a trade company. Let's do that now. Come on. Trade company it is. Come on. We definitely want to have trade company over here. Um, just so I can show the interactions with the trade company. Because there are some unique ones. I definitely want to show them off. Uh, do I have to do all of this? 
it's kind of annoying. I thought you could... I thought there was a faster way, but I just don't remember. Um, I actually want to get some uh, war going today. God damn it. But now I've started it, I have to finish. That's like a... <sighs> Come on, how many more provinces are there? Let me see. Trade companies. Wow. Yeah, so we have all of this in our trade company already. Good. Uh, we could also add these two. Yes, please. East Indian Company. East English East India. And this is... This will be Coromandel Charter. So let's start a new one over here as well. And that show, should show up in our... Uh, Vassal list. This is Konkan Charter. Okay, so we've had we have three charters now, I believe. Uh, yes. Okay. So what can we do with these? Just to uh, just to see. Where are they? Uh, those are protectorates. Oh, they don't even show up. Okay, never mind. So the only thing I can do is enable promote investments, increase trade power in all of the trade node companies' provinces, but that will cause inflation. I see. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's focus over here. I have one troop, one horse. That is utterly useless. All right. Also have diplomats. What do we want to do? I think we want to align ourselves over here with Prussia, um, simply because we need some strength on the continent. Maybe even Austria. They don't like us too much. Um, Maybe the Netherlands or Portugal? Nah, Portugal's kind of useless. They rivaled us. Um, the Ottomans, maybe? Russia? I guess Russia would be important. Russia and Prussia. Alright, let's do that. Um, and I guess, what ships do we have? We have the Blue Squadron. Those are just frigates. So you should probably protect trade in... The English Channel, thank you. And we have these guys, our heavy ships. Um, yeah. Actually, let's get this one guy on on the boat, and the Royal Navy shall go to Lothian. All right. Finally, I get to do the first day, the East India Company. Wow, look at this! All these decisions. Um, created two years before its Dutch equivalent, the English East India Company had a difficult start. Its first trading posts in the Moluccas and Indonesia were soon overwhelmed and closed by the Dutch, and activity concentrated to India. It is there that she would know she would know its greatest success, from small trading ventures of harbor factories to the large Indian empire built by Warren Hastings and Robert Clive, or Clive. Um, that would control most of the Indian subcontinent. The company would outlast all its competitors and would only be taken over by the British government in 1867 in the wake of the Great Sepoy Revolt. Oh, right. Uh, we will exploit this. So we get another 100 ducats. Nice. And to trade embargo by the United States. Well, that sucks. Shawnees and Federation. So many pop-ups will come up. Um, that's, that's, that's good. Hello. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, we have disputed succession. No, 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 we don't have it. Okay, other people do. Nice. So yeah, um, cotton imports. During the Renaissance, Indian cotton fabrics had become increasingly popular in Europe. Okay, so price of wool. We lose mercantilism. Mm. Or we lose trade power. Um, well, that's a tough decision. I like mercantilism. Where is it? I don't like losing it. No, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna... But for the end of the day... Uh... Bengal. Current trade power. Well, probably wouldn't hurt it that much. Mercantilism the right way. No, we will not restrict free trade. There you go. Gain some Casas Bellies. Also nice. 
Oh, and they've uh, now enabled... Oh my... Are you kidding me? That cannot be the end of the episode. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Well, um... Yeah. I know you did not really see much of a... Whatever. Um... But yeah. Uh... I have to end this here. Um... <laughs> otherwise, the episode will go too long. But let me... Let me just ship these guys over first. And then... And then we'll see how things go. But yeah, um... I know there was a lot of uh, talking and not a lot of gameplay, we didn't really cover many days, but I had to set up a lot of things, I had to set up my parliament, I have not even started a debate yet, so I definitely should do that. Um, so uh, yeah, I will do that next time. Thank you for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, we'll, see, uh, uh, we'll see each other, well, at some point. Sweep Trunaka, signing off.